Welcome to the solution to the nut case puzzle. Um, the best advice that I've gotten with this nut case puzzle is to put a little bit, when you first get it, put a little bit of WD-40 on there and then spin these nuts around until um, you can spin them pretty easily. They move nice and also so that this shifts just slightly when you pull them apart. After you have the um, the nutcase puzzle lubricated a little bit so you've got a little bit of wiggle room and you can kind of see these moving back and forth pretty easily. Then what I like to do is to slide the nuts so that they're pretty far apart from each other. And then start with um, by holding the top and letting gravity kind of pull down on this. And you'll see that one of them slides easily and one of them slides a little bit is a little bit harder. Find the one that slides like it's having a bit more resistance. See, this one has no resistance. This one here has a little bit more resistance. And twist that one until, watch what happens. Oh, did you see that? I'll do it again here. Watch what happens. Just a little slight movement. See that? That meant that now it fits into kind of the grooves of this nut. And we can keep spinning it around. There should be two spots, and one of them will catch a little bit. Notice how that's kind of catching on this side. You can tell by just moving them back and forth. So if it's that spot, that's not the right one. When this, when it catches properly, which we saw before, you'll notice that the entire nut slides up evenly on both sides when you shift it back and forth. So that means that this nut is now in the correct position to take the, the um, puzzle apart. So now I have to work with the second one. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, focus. Focus. All right. So I'm going to twist this just slightly. Oh, see, that one's catching on one side. You can see that it's catching on one side. So this is important. If you get to this point, don't continue twisting unless it's level. Otherwise, you'll get it jammed. I've done that before. But keep twisting slowly while you've got the weight of gravity pulling that down, or you might have to pull it down a little bit your first couple of times doing this puzzle. And it should click when they line up so that the entire puzzle will fall apart. Now, the reason I put these two nuts the farthest apart is so that now, when we pull them like this, we can actually twist And there should be enough wiggle room on the ends that it goes past the edge. Oh, did it? Not quite. Come on. Again, be careful not to get them caught. Oh, there we are. Okay. So then it comes apart. You've got the, um, the nut that was inside there. It has nothing to do with the puzzle. But you can kind of see the pieces now. I'm going to show you the pieces here real quick. There are two parts to this puzzle, um, two ends that, as you can see, they slide together to create um, this puzzle. Okay, and then they slide apart. Each of the nuts on here has missing um, some thread and some parts with no thread so that they can fit over top of this and slide down. So that's what it is you're trying to discover um, when you're when you shift them slightly. Same with this one here. Again you can see there there's some thread and then there's gaps for the larger piece here and the smaller piece here so that they'll just fit right over top of each other like that. Oh I almost forgot the little useless nut that makes noise inside there has nothing to do with the puzzle. It goes inside and then they come together. Putting the puzzle back together um, can be a little bit tricky. Um, again, the, the biggest problem I've had is lining up the thread and having them kind of jam. So you've got to be careful that they, they are nice and level. Um, but what you want to do is bring them in Whoops, come back into focus. There we are, okay. So you wanna try and bring the, them in. And then you're basically solving the puzzle 
in reverse. I want to have them as close together as possible now. Um, and what I'm trying to do is line up the pieces so that they will slide. So I'm going to hold on to the top again and twist it until I can see it's catching on the one side. So I'm going to try again, twist it until it slides up and down evenly. And I'm going to twist this one. Oh, there we are. Come on. Am I hitting that nut inside there? Yes, that's exactly what's happening. Okay. Now, the tricky part of this is sometimes people don't push them all the way together, and so you'll end up having a little bit more wiggle room in it. Well, you want to try and make sure that there is no gap in there. That, that dumb nut, there we go. That nut's not getting stuck, and so that, that when you do re-put these... Um, bolts on here, the nuts on the bolts, that you do have just a little bit of wiggle room there. So that's how to put it back together again. Also notice that oh, the letters, nut, and case are the same direction, right? They're not upside down from each other. One, one is upside down this way, the opposite one, but they are going to be nut and case need to be set up properly like that. There you go. That's the solution for solving the nutcase puzzle and putting it back together again. Hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.